Welcome back. So just to give you guys a quick overview about what we have right now and what we're missing, um, here's what your application starts looking like right now. So we have, we started out with making a clean architect where we kind of tested it all inside a console app. We then removed the console app and switched over to a REST API. So now we have a REST API that can receive and accept data from the wire. And we used Postman to fake HTTP requests that we could send over to get information from our fake database here. So let me just put in one more line right here. Because again, this guy talks to this fake list. That's what we call the fake DB. Let me just call it that so it's easier to know. So right now we are getting data from the fake database. So a request would look like this. Postman says, I would like to get all customers. He sends a request over the wire, over the internet, and he sends in some JSON information maybe. At least he puts in some information about where to go in this request. It goes to a REST API, in our case the customer controller. He grabs the, the HTTP request. He kind of unwraps it and makes it into everything he gets if he gets any information. Like JSON, he'll wrap it into JSON. He'll wrap that into c -sharp objects. He'll send the request down the line into our service. The service knows what to do. It'll actually send a request to the repository to get information. And we've made an implementation of that inside something called infrastructure static that kind of calls the fake DB, gets the information from the list right now. Now we've jumped through a few hoops to kind of get that working because it's just lists in memory. He gets responses back and he sends it all the way back, converts it right here back to JSON, sends it over the wire and Postman gets a message back saying, there you go, here's the data you requested as JSON. So right now, since Postman isn't for a GET request, he didn't send any data in this case, there wasn't any real conversion right here from JSON. But if it was a POST request, sending first name, last name, or something like that, we would actually have a conversion from JSON to c -sharp here. We would then have a conversion um, when we actually get the response back from c -sharp into JSON again, so we can send it back. That's very important. So, that's kind of what we have right now, that's what we have working and running and that's kind of what the GitHub repo that I published for in the description this time, they can go get the solution as it is right now. What we're going to do is we're going to take this old infrastructure static data, we're going to kill that. So we're going to get the same thing as up here, that's going to, this is going to die, we're going to get rid of that. And instead what we're going to get is a new guy that talks to an SQL database. It's the exact same thing when we look at it from a code perspective, we're going to use the same interface. We're going to use the I customer repository interface. We're going to use the I whatever repository interface that we need. And then we're going to just point it to an SQL database instead of to a fake database. So you, I'm going to show you how we phase this out. And then we jump down and create a new, a new package that can take care of the work of communicating with the database. So that's it for this series. That's what we're going to do. Don't worry, we will get back to actually using the real client, but that will be in a later series. So that will show up later. But that's it for now. We're going to slowly phase this guy out. The infrastructure static data is going to be converted into a new guy called infrastructure data. No static stuff. Data. And there we're going to start making stuff for the SQL database. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.